All right, guys, welcome back to Everyday with me, Nick. Uh, first of all, let me apologise for the uh, the bikes in the background. They're uh, and Isaac in the background as well. Uh, right, so I just want to give you as an update about uh, where I behave now, please. Uh, with the mill, um, <laughs> I had a, I was at work last night and. Uh, I had some of the lads come in. I had uh, <laughs> Sean, Devon, and Joe. All right, lads, um, and they behave. They come in and uh, they were asking questions about different things on the mill. So uh, one of them mentioned the DRO that I've got on the mill, and uh, so I'm just gonna we'll go through with that the, the different one I've got now. Um, where else was there? Why do right? Why do I why do I only debark one side? So I'll, I'll I'll answer that one. Oh, where else was there? There was something else, but anyway, right. Let's start with the DRO. So the DRO that I've now got installed is Isaac. Please stop. Is is this one? And it has on the back of is it on there or on the back of the scale? I've turned the scale around, see to. Um, so I can get the mounting on, but it's um, it's a company in the UK called M Shower, and uh, I'll leave a link for their uh, website in the description. And uh, this one has worked fantastically since day one, uh, since I put it on. Um, I haven't figured out yet how to set it on absolute. I wouldn't mind knowing how to do that because then that would tell me exactly how high up the uh, off the bunk I am. So currently I'm at like one inch. So I don't know if I could set that. I don't know. If I could set it, that would be like zero, but yeah, but one inch. So we'll, uh, but then if I go up, just steady Isaac. Just have to put my foot against it to stop it from rolling. There we go. So we're at that. If I come out of absolute, we're at that. So we're at zero again. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Um, yeah, I do believe you have to. I don't know if you have to do it in inches or what. I don't know. Please. Don't play with it. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the DRO, and um, yeah, it's quite good. It's uh, it's it's the the better one that I've had. The other one is hanging up there as a spare, and that was that was by Walker. Uh, now I don't rate that one. It was quite poor, quite quite crap actually. So pff, I won't be dealing with them again. Crap. Um, but yeah, this one's worked, worked since I got it and uh, I've only had one issue and that was my own fault and that was when it rained one day. Got a bit of rain in here and there's like a circuit board on this and it must have just didn't like it between the circuit board and the uh, and, and the ra and, and this because it's like magnet on the back side of here. So uh, I took it home. Took... Come on, get up, son. Took it home. Cleaned it off, dried it off, and it was all right again. So it started working. So, yeah. Oh, Ben's crying. I'll just go sort him out. There we go. He's back. He's better. He's back on his balance by it now. So, there we go. So, yeah. Um, so, that's the DRO. Really, it works Works mint. Uh, I've now put this, like, wooden lat down to give it a better securing mounting position because the other one I didn't know if it was too much vibration or there was so anyway I've I've mounted it with that on there and it's 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 right good now mounted onto here this is for other people who have maybe got OS uh, uh let's say 21 27 31 or whatever it is 23 sorry 23 27 31 and they can just do what I've done here this is a 600 mil a two foot DRO digital readout scale with remote. So I've just like I say, I put a bit of lat down there, milled on here, and just uh, put a self tapper into there, made sure there was no behind it. Happy days. So yeah, 
now all I do is when I've done a cut just once it's on just press zero and wind to wherever you want add your kerf on as well so I've been pouring out 18 mil boards so I'll put it to 20 jobs at 80 so yeah so that's number one that's what we've done right uh, Joe asked about oh, Devon and maybe he's as well and Sean, <laughs> Sean was there why do I only cut why do I only debark one side that is a good question for those who don't know you only debark one side because the blades only entering one one way and then as it's coming out the other end it's coming out so it's already gone through all the log so if you want to try and limit or mitigate all the debris that it could hit then you want to do that so that's why we go through that's why we debark one side um, until we've got it down into a cant which is a square square log basically um, what was the other thing it was something else uh, whilst I'm trying to figure out what they were on about <laughs> what they were saying to me last night was um, I've added a new little addition onto the um, the poor and I mean poor water system that is on this uh, on the frontier sawmills it's probably the only thing bad about the the mill uh, is this tap now this tap is just a generic bog standard one pound 99 uh, on off tap really crap but what i've done there is it so that's that's on that's open and i've just put one of these little inline um garden dripper um uh, taps in and I tell you what there's l much better control on that I don't know if you can see see it dripping through there or with the uh, with this one let's have a look I don't know if you can see it but it's loads loads easier to control so I've, I've put one of them in line and that is much nicer to you so I'm, because where I was going, I was getting a lot of air from, from this, so we've we've stopped that. Um, so we've left that fully open. It didn't have any air when it was fully open. I've left it fully open, and I'm just going to control it off this valve now. So that's that's happy days with that. Um, I don't know if I'd mentioned, but I've also installed an hour meter uh, on mine, and currently I'm at uh, 15.9 hours. So. A tach tachometer, tachometer, I think they call them. So uh, it's at 15.9, um, nearly 16 hours. I've done first service on it. I did my first service at 13.7 hours because I forgot completely uh, and I was just milling away. And by the end of the day, I looked at it and I was like, we need to get a service done on this now, first 10 hours. And I'll have to go back into it manual to see what's what. We've went to. Um, yeah, service it again. It's quite a lot, I know that much for sure. Um, yeah, we're about, I think that's about it really. I can't think of what else Joe, Devon and Sean were on about last night. So, put that back please. This kid just likes playing in my sawdust pile now. Why are you taking that? Oh, thank you. And now I have to clean it up at another point now. Cheers, son. Uh, yeah, you need a laugh. There's me, um, there's me firewood pile out of most of these logs. So I need to get that, um, get that in order. So, yeah, got me, um, I've not, I've not worked this today. I'm just, uh, just having a chill day. Just really, just chilling out. I've got, uh, eight blades there. Ninth is on there and one left. One, one left in the kitty to use. <laughs> we have to sort some of it out. Um, what was I going to show? Oh, yeah, I had my solar panel out, charging my phone with the cost of energy prices now. <laughs> Let's charge the phone. Um, yeah, through our solar panel. Uh, it's not a bad little thing. Like it takes forever to charge up, but it's done all right today. But yeah, thank you very much to everyone who's uh, who's coming along and watching, and you know, new and old and. You know, avid avid supporters who are always coming back, and really appreciate you guys. Um, oh, another you know another question: Does it cost me to subscribe? No, <laughs> it doesn't cost you a thing. Just um, just just click it, just click subscribe, 
um, and it just it just helps me out. That's all. You know, leave a like if you want, leave a dislike if you want. You know, we get people like that. But um, no, it doesn't cost you a thing to uh, to like or subscribe or even comment. So if you've got questions, then just just write it down in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as I see it, or or if I'm working, I'll as soon as I finish. But yeah. Um, look forward to you guys uh, putting comments on it uh, keeps me entertained with what you get to what you have to say and uh, also you know i'd like to make sure that you guys know what's going on as well um so yeah i have got a video coming out next but yeah you can see this shed behind me that i, I quickly built up it's 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 neither anything or nothing um i just knocked it up very very crudely very quickly i've put it on skids just so i can move it out the way i mean the back of that needs grading out a bit better but um yeah i just do it so when this goes back in there it uh, it's out of the weather so i just need something across the front and then that'll be it jobs at 80. but yeah there's plenty to uh plenty to be going on with um yeah plenty to be going so we'll be uh we'll be back on the mill tomorrow i think which is monday i'll upload this tonight which is sunday so yeah, if you have any further questions, put them in the comments and we'll uh, we'll get them sorted for you. So thank you very much and we'll see you all on the next video. Take care guys.